Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for whenever it resonates. Okay, uh, these can resonate at any time, anywhere from the day of up to a few months. Okay, it could be next week, could be three days, could be January, could be tomorrow. Let's see. Let's see what we got. I picked up several decks. And it's funny because about the second deck, after I picked up a deck, I was like, oh, I'm going to use my favorite deck. And this has always been my favorite deck. And then I went to several other decks. You know, I picked up that one, picked up that one, picked up like six other decks. And here I am, back at my favorite deck. So, let's stick with my favorite here. So, what do we have for a message today? All the Januaries are done. Nine of Pentacles reversed. So this is about independence and it's crazy. Because I was going to start this reading out with, for all you men that think I'm looking for a man, I'm not. But this is Little Miss Independent, right? Who may not be independent for much longer, but that's not my story. But for some of you, okay, this is this is somebody that... I mean, the Knight of Pentacles, you don't complete me. This is about independence. It is. It's funny that I wanted to start the reading out with that. I, was, I, play, I thought about it multiple times. I was like, no, I'm not going to do that. But here it is. This is uh, insecure, giving deep thought to a relationship, discipline, needing discipline. Some This is about either giving up independence or becoming independent. Now this doesn't have to be in relationship. This could be this could have to do with a job. Hmm. Ah well of course. King of Wands. So we have somebody here that is interested by the looks of things. Could be a Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, could be anybody else. This person has this vision. Okay, is given to take action, is very decisive. Uh, this person takes action. Does it want to be single? Okay. <clears throat> King of Wands, this is somebody that is very, very decisive. Creative, strong, protective. We have a protector here. Wants to protect. But we may have this person doesn't want to give up their independence. You know, whatever. Nine of Pentacles reversed. Not interested. Absolutely not interested. Now, let's talk about the collective here. Nine of Pentacles reversed. Insecure. Doing extremely well. I feel like we have somebody here who's doing extremely well. Just doesn't want to engage. Would rather be alone. Temperance reversed. Unbalanced. We have somebody here that is unbalanced, frustrated, um, unstable. There's somebody here that is unstable and insecure. Now, this is repeating negative patterns. This is going overboard. This is excessive. A need to re-examine. Well, somebody may need to re-examine, but whatever. Um, there is a need to re-examine with that temperance card reversed. 
there's some sort of healing that is needed. Profound healing is needed. Somebody may be choosing to go through a period of healing. They haven't healed yet. So there's no desire to mingle. Okay? There's no desire to mix. So I feel like we have somebody here that is choosing to be single, but there is somebody this is that is interested. Temperance reverse. Haven't healed. Not ready. Not a good time. Not a good time. We may this person may be working on all different kinds of projects. May not have time to engage in any sort of anything. So there's like not giving it the time of day. Nine of Swords reversed. Tired. Very tired. Extremely tired. Extremely worried. So somebody is extremely worried. And their gut is telling them as well that they, they, they don't need to add this to the plate. It feels like there's there's some sort of extreme exhaustion here. There even could be some illness. Now this could be all one person. We could have a fire sign. could be anybody that is unstable, um, losing their balance, they're ill. There's some sort of sickness here. I know I'm changing the story, but there's illness here. And there could even be a mental imbalance. We may have somebody here that has a mental imbalance. Um, there's definitely instability. We have this guy that, or girl that has some sort of vision and they're going to be taking action like they see something that they want, but I'm not sure that they're being very practical. This person, they got their eye on something, but it's not, it doesn't feel like it's practical. Um, it's not a good time. It's definitely not a good time. I think there's a lot going on. There's a feeling of being overwhelmed. There's a lot of stress, extreme stress. And there's illness here. There's some sort of illness here. We have somebody that is, whether they're mentally ill or they're mentally unstable or they're sick. You know, they're sick. Their health, they're sick. You know, there's illness here. You know, so there's some sort of illness, which is interesting. Ah, definitely not a good time to start a new contract. It's not a good time. It's not. Um... There could even be a separation here, okay? Somebody may be choosing to become independent. They could be leaving somebody behind or they're, they're make, because this is becoming independent. They may, somebody may not want to be independent, but they're going to be independent. You know, there's always two sides, okay? On one hand, you know, and on the other hand, I mean, that's what we have here. So that's like on, so there's definitely a choice. There's somebody that is very imbalanced. It's like they're losing their balance. They're losing their focus as well. Uh, really, really tired. I feel like we have, this could, I don't know if somebody is sleeping a lot. They could be getting sicker, you know, sicker and sicker and sicker. And I don't, I don't know whose message that is for, but it feels like there's, some definitely somebody that is uh, unstable. And, uh, they're losing their ability to work, maybe. They can't work anymore, you know. They can't work because they're sick. Um, anyhow, the lovers reverse. This is the end of a contract. It is. There's re extremely poor health here. I know I keep repeating myself, but I need to. Anyhow, the lovers reverse. This is the end of a contract. It's not, no, there's no more peace. There's no harmony. There's definitely no balance. Okay, there's, there's no reason to stay. There is no reason to stay. There isn't. There's no reason to get involved. There's, there's no... Uh, coming together, put it that way. There's no working together. There, there's, there's, it isn't easy. This isn't easy. It's not an easy relationship. It's not an easy or a good time. It's just not a good time. Um, I 
<laughs> what is this King of Wands doing? It feels like this King of Wands is looking at <sighs> losing something because this is the end of a contract. This guy is making a decision to give up a contract. Seriously. This is a boss. Somebody that is in a position of authority. Now I said, what is he doing? He's scheming. He's scheming something. He's getting ready to do something. Now, it's very sneaky. Okay, this person appears to be making an escape of some sort. Uh, leaving. Somebody is leaving. This person is very, very passionate in whatever they do. It looks as though this person's mind is made up. They are leaving behind a contract that is not compatible. It's not compatible. It's caused a lot of stress, and a lot of stress, and it's made somebody ill. You know, even it even affected their ability to work. You know, there's there that Nine of Pentacles reversed is not happy, definitely not happy. Choosing to be alone, choosing to go. I feel like there's there's somebody that is extremely frustrated. They can't heal or they they haven't been able to heal or they're not healing from something. There's not any healing going on. Maybe it's something that is incurable. I don't know. Um but this is the end of a contract. There's there's there could be some fighting. Okay, this is conflict, a disconnection, detachment, one-sidedness, and this is self-love. So somebody may be, you know, doing what's best for them out of self-love, not getting into any type of contracts. Because this I choose to be alone. I don't want a contract anymore. I don't want to be in any kind of that. Now, this is a separation of some sort. There, and there definitely is a separation here. There is some sort of separation. It just doesn't mix. It's not, and it's going to bring relief. This separation is probably going to bring instant relief. Okay? Um, somebody is, is slipping away. They're sneaking away. They're taking a risk. They're going their own way. Somebody is departing. That's the way I feel. They're departing from some sort of commitment. It's like, I, they're, no, I don't want a commitment. I don't want this anymore. I'd rather be alone. Somebody is going to be choosing to be alone. And they may be choosing because they have another option in the future. They know that they have something better. They know that there's more than this. This guy is about to take action. He is looking at a breakup. He's looking at a separation with somebody that there's no compatibility with. It's just not a good match. It's not a good match. Hmm. This is a loss. This is absolutely a loss. Ace of Pentacles reverse. This is no no planning. Lack of manifestation. Something not working out. This is losing something big. It's a big, huge loss of some sort. It's unplanned. So this is an unplanned situation. Somebody didn't plan on being rejected or they didn't plan on it ending like this, but it is what it is. Ace of Pentacles reverse. That's a huge loss. It is definitely slipping away. This is a lost opportunity.
there's there's some sort of deception somebody has lost an opportunity for love because of deception lies a lot of lies here the magician is a pathological liar somebody that and definitely a loss of resources as well somebody's losing something big put it that way this person does not have the passion or the desire to do anything anymore it's like they've lost their passion They've lost their drive. They've lost their ambition. Somebody has lost their uh, power. They have no power left. They have no power. They've lost their power. They've lost a big opportunity. Somebody has lost a big opportunity because of lies, because of deception, because of cheating. Somebody may have gotten into a contract with an individual that had mental problems. And you know, the people that you hang out with rub off on you. So I feel like there's, there's regrets. I think there's extreme regrets. So this is extreme. It is. Somebody has some extreme regrets. I feel like it's a masculine Okay, I feel like it's a masculine figure. It's a father figure, a husband, um, a boyfriend. Um, it's somebody that is, I feel like it's a masculine. I, I do. I feel like it's a mas. This is, it's very, it is masculine. Okay, so we have a masculine here that has, is going to, or is feeling extremely regretful. This is extreme regrets. Having a hard time sleeping at night. This person lost the love of their life. They lost a deep connection. They didn't see somebody's value because the nine of pentacles is about value. They didn't value a connection when they had it. And now this person is experiencing extreme regrets. They're watching. But it looks like they're not doing anything. They're not, they're watching, definitely watching, but not doing anything. They don't plan on doing anything because of rejection, because of fear of rejection, because they know what they did. They know what they did. They can't apologize. This person does not plan on taking any action or apologizing. So I don't know who this person is, but let's just change the story a little bit. We have somebody up there who has chosen to be single, not looking for any sort of contract. There is somebody that is interested, but the answer is no. The reversed magician is no upright. It's yes. This is no. These are both no. Nope. No, 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 no. Those are both no. No, no, not interested. Not interested. So... Somebody's going to be hearing those words. Sorry, I'm not interested. Please don't bother. Um, and I feel like this person has lost an opportunity because I feel like they wasted time. They wasted a lot of time playing. Playing games with somebody. Playing game, playing in another contract. You know? They should have went down that path a long time ago. But they weren't learning their lessons, right? They weren't learning their lesson. They weren't willing to compromise. They weren't willing to blend. They weren't willing to give. And now they've lost the love of their life. So I feel like we have a separation here. It's a permanent loss. I feel like it's a permanent loss. And this person, whoever ha is experiencing the loss, is feeling the loss. They're feeling extremely regretful because now... Uh, Whoever it is that they are watching that they wish would communicate uh, isn't interested. Absolutely isn't interested. So, 
I do feel as though uh, the answer is no. The answer is definitely no. I'm not interested. <laughs> oh, I don't know. That's funny. Um, ah, well, that makes sense. I that totally makes sense. So that is a no. That is no. Uh, this, this is about being held accountable for your actions. Uh, the Queen of Swords is somebody who typically does choose to be alone, will not be lied to, knows the truth, and expects the truth. Uh, this person may be very harsh, may be very assertive. The Queen of Swords uh, thinks fast. She knows what she wants. She does not um, play games. Okay? So we have the Queen of Swords here who is very powerful she knows the truth she has the power in her hands and it feels like she is i mean that is the sword that cuts it cuts she may say something very very hurtful she will she's very sharp she has a very sharp tongue so it looks like we have an individual that is going to say something that uh uh, to this king of wands whoever this person is that I feel like it stings I do I feel like it stings I feel like it's very honest truthful words that hurt um, sorry but this isn't going to work out I'm not interested Very intelligent. The Queen of Swords is very intelligent. She really doesn't play games. She's the one that is saying no. These are both no's. So whoever this Queen of Swords, this Queen of Swords is going to be communicating no. Nope. There's no chance for long-term stability here. There's no need to deal with somebody that lies. You know. And I think this King of Wands is so proud and so confident. This is somebody that is very confident and very, very uh, determined, proud, strong. I feel like this is going to be a shock to him. I feel like he, this person is going to be unprepared to hear those words. Because this, this, this masculine thinks that he can get away with whatever and that, you know, he won't be told no. He thinks that he will be accepted. He does. He thinks that he will be given another chance. He thinks that he can come back whenever he's ready. He's wrong. This Queen of Swords is going to give him a wake-up call. Now, like I said, the timing is fluid. For some reason, I feel like this is going to happen later. I think it's going to happen later on. I think it's going to happen in January. And it's funny because I started, and I don't usually say January at the beginning of the readings. So this could happen in January. I've been wanting to say January all day long. <laughs> so, uh, January. In January, there is somebody that is going to be having some extreme, January, January. There, somebody's going to be having some extreme regrets. They didn't plan on losing the love of their life. They thought that they could come back whenever they wanted. They thought there would always be a reunion and that they could come back. Because they thought the person that they were dealing with, with would never 
know their value and know their worth. Wrong. This could be happening now for some of you. The timing is fluid. We're all on different timelines. We have a Queen of Swords here that is making... She has the power. She has the power in her hands. Could be a Gemini. We have Gemini here. We have Libra, Aquarius. Could be any... We have Gemini here too. Anyway, it could be Gemini. Whoever this... It doesn't have to be. It could be anybody. We have a Queen of Swords here that is making a decision based on the facts. You lied. You cheated. You deceived. You threw me away. You chose another lover. No thank you. Good luck. 